Here we have some application problems on domain and range. Area of rectangle, we need to find domain and range. Represent area of a rectangle with perimeter of 1200 meters as a function of its length. Determine its domain and range. So let's sketch a rectangle and define some variables. So in a rectangle, we'll have the longer side, let us say, we, we'll just call it length L and the smaller side as width W. Now when we say that perimeter is 1200, it means what? It means sum of twice length and twice W should be 1200, right? So since perimeter is equals to 1200, we know that two times length plus width should be 1200. So that equation can help us to find relation between length and width. Now since we want to represent our function area in terms of length, we will write what width is in terms of length, right? So solving this equation, let's divide by 2 on both sides. So we get 600 equals to length plus width or we can say 600 minus length is width. So that is a relation of width with respect to length. The question is represent area of the rectangle with this parameter as a function of length. Now what is area? Area is length times width. Since we want independent variable as length alone, we'll replace width with length. So what we get actually is length times width we found is equals to 600 minus L, right? So let's number this equation. Let's say this equation is 1. So we substituted this equation 1 here, right, for width, correct? So that is what we wrote. Now in this equation, you will observe that there is only one variable. Earlier there were two variables, length and width. Now there is only one variable, length. And therefore, we can say that area as a function of length is given as length times 600 minus L. Right? So that is how we can represent area of a rectangle with given parameter as a function of length. Okay? So this is a very important part and you'll, you'll have this in many word problems. Now the second part of this question is determine its domain and range. Now how to find domain and range for this function? Well, when we know that L and W are actually length and width, we know one thing that we cannot have length as a negative number. right? So that kind of gives us the domain. Here you see L is your independent variable. So for domain, we have to see what values can L take. So 600 minus L should be always greater than or equal to 0. That is the restriction. Correct? It cannot be negative. Solving this, we get 600 is greater than or equal to length. That means length is less than or equal to 600. That gives us our domain. Do you see that? So we can write down from here that length is less than 600 and therefore length is what? Length is the independent variable, right? So we say L is independent variable. And we also know that L is less than or equals to 600. Do you see that? So therefore we say domain is In this case, we'll say domain is equals to, L could be any real number, so we say length, which belongs to set of real numbers, and L is, so because it cannot be zero, so it has to be greater than equal to zero, right? So it is, L is greater than equal to zero, right? But less than equal to 600, do you see that part? So that is the length. Now the second part is, what is the area? 
well the minimum area could be zero but we need to find the maximum area now how to find maximum area that's a very critical question so what we need to find is maximum area so that will give us range right so range is from zero to the maximum area now if you analyze this system which is area is actually equals to length times 600 minus length so this area will be zero for length equals to zero and for length equals to 600 do you see that point right and since if you multiply l and l we'll get minus l squared so it's kind of a parabola which will be upside down like this so if you graph this what i'm trying to say is if you graph this taking different values of l let us say between 0 to 600 then you'll get a graph like this so in this graph we are having area as a function of length on y-axis and length on the x-axis so we see that if l is 0 then the area is 0 right if l is 600 even then the area is 0 However, it will be maximum right in the center. That's from the symmetry of this parabola, right? So the center value is 600 plus 0 divided by 2, which gives us a value of 300. So area will be maximum when length is 300. So let's find out this value for length of 300, right? So will be 300. So I'm substituting L as 300 now. So 300 times 600 minus 300 600 minus 300 is 300 so we get 300 times 300 so 3 times 3 is 9 and 4 zeros correct so that is the maximum area so we can write down that area is our range right so we have range equals to area which belongs to set of real numbers which has to be greater than or equal to zero right so that is the area and is less than or equal to 90,000 right and so the range is equal to set of all real numbers where a is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 90,000 the units will be meter square right so we can write units as meters square and close right so when we define our variables we can always write the units for the variable itself so when we write a here it is assumed that the units will be meter square now for domain the units will be in meters so it is 600 meters correct so that is how you can solve these questions so it is important to note that when we have application questions then the domain and range will be restricted and there are ways to find it in this particular case we know that length should be non-negative therefore the factors should have the same sign right they cannot be one of them cannot be negative and that gave us the length knowing length we can actually make table of values plot a graph and then find the maximum that is one way you could do it the other way is what we did using properties of parabola it is symmetric so we found axis of symmetry which is midway between the x-intercepts 300 was the value so a the value of the function that is the area for length 300 will give us the maximum value of the function so the maximum value was 900 90,000 meters square so that becomes the part of range so the range is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 90,000. I hope that's absolutely clear. Thank you and all the best.